to say, I wanted to say, and I'm going to hold this mask and do the best I can here. Uh, let's understand this, that this started with the mayor and the city council saying that this was a legal issue, that there were ordinances in place that would forbid this mural for being here. And they said there was no permit and it was to be temporary. And how do you go from talking about an ordinance and law to then saying you reached out to the business folks on this block and that they told you they did not want the mural here, which we have found out to be a lie. Right. And so the bottom line is this, we are not to be played with. We are not to be toyed with. This is sacred ground. And we're saying to the mayor of Tulsa, if we reach out to you and we ask for you to be steadfast in what you're saying, and if you're standing on law, don't then turn around and flip flop on what you're doing. To the city council, you have the opportunity to vote and say, yes, we can make an exception because black lives matter. It's not about the mural, it's about the moral. It's about the moral. And then we say, he's passing the buck to these business owners that don't own this street. There is no way in the world that you one day talk about an ordinance and then you pass the buck on to the business owners and say, what do you guys think? And then you have the audacity to have news reports that say the business community said they didn't want Black Lives Matter on the street in the heart of Greenwood where, where, where souls are still remembered and blood was shed. Are you kidding me?